Hello, hi. Welcome to 60 Degrees, 1.49 a.m., February 19th, 2020. Hola. Yes. And can I get the last four of the incident? 7095, 5 Washington. 70... As Joey would say, how you doing? Where am I? Uh, safe to say I am in the Western Hemisphere. Very safe to say that. Where are you? He called back to State Apartment 4 for Audrey's Hobart. Here with the post kit. Look, scratches. Running a little bit in the room. 7501, She comes by as you win. 5283, your traffic collision at Woodpit and Santa Fe. No, you hit run this winner. Do you want to involve? Rude. I'm not Hispanic. 40 years old. Good morning, Morty. What's going on? What's going down? How you doing? Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. What's up, Hector? How are you? Hector, we ran into each other, right? In Huntington Park? That's right, that's right. I remember. If I'm not mistaken. Right on, right on. Oh, Jesse, it's going well. It's going well, thank you. Uh, I'm just getting out probably about 45 minutes ago. It's been a slow night, which uh, which is funny because I was just thinking about uh, we're going to have a meeting next month, and one of the things I'm going to bring up during the meeting is the slow night, the slow night thing. Uh, a lot of people go in early because it's a slow night. Some people will move areas because it was slow. It's a real big pet peeve over the years when people say it's slow. I'm heading in, or it's slow, and I'm going to move spots. And the reason why I, I get upset about it is, listen to this reasoning. If it's busy, and let's say you send in five or six stories, and everybody else sends in five or six stories, chances are, unless you're really good at this job, you're not going to get a lot of hits for all that work. So when it's slow, they're waiting for news, and you do less work for more money. Meaning, they're waiting for something to happen. So... If it's slow and you don't go anything, it gives you a better chance to go get something to get it on TV because there's more room for stuff and they're waiting for stuff. On busy nights, they don't want you to call. They have enough news and enough stuff to keep them busy. On slow nights, they're waiting for you to call and you want to go in early. <laughs> Never made sense to me. Never made sense to me. All right. So thank you for uh, letting me get this off my chest. And hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> right on, Jesse. That means that the last thing I updated, or the last thing I uploaded or published, you uh, you watched. What's up, everybody? How you doing? How you doing? No, I didn't work last night, but I had a very productive day. <laughs> Started with uh, getting Channel 4 and Channel 5 on TV in the morning for that pursuit. Then I went golfing. Got a par, took a nap, woke up, took Bronson fishing, got a fish. So I got hits on TV, I got pars, and I got fish. It was a very productive Tuesday. A very productive Tuesday. Or was that Monday? We'll call that a Monday, right? <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, yesterday was Tuesday, right? Yeah, so we'll call that productive Monday. I didn't work Monday night, Tuesday, I'm working, yeah. Productive Monday. Hi, huh, you got sirens, lights in that car? That doesn't make sense, Paul. Try again. What's up, Netherlands? Did I touch the fish? Uh, not with my hand, hand, but I had a glove on, and I did. I held it. There's a picture of it on my uh, on my Instagram. Um, I think the story's already gone. I had a cool little tri picture on there on the story. Had a picture of uh, the hit on TV, golf, and then uh, the fish. But yeah, no, I caught myself a rainbow trout. I don't know, probably about two and a half pounds. 
What? Right, news photographer? Uh, I know it says news photographer, but without going to your page, well, I'll just go to your page. Um, let's see here. And there are no videos for me to look at. Um, are you a stringer news photographer? And I'm kind of in a sketchy area, so I'm looking everywhere for the most part, not my screen. I don't usually, whoa, that's not good. All right. So, uh, as a news photographer, stringer, or as a stringer news photographer, you find that uh, to be the same, right? When it's real busy, you actually work harder for less. So when it's not, when, it, when it's dead out, it's actually a good thing. I like it when it's slow. What's up? I have a hard time calling you that. <laughs> I really do. You got your Trump tracker on? Is that like the Nordic uh, Santa Claus tracker? You got your Trump tracker? You tracking Trump? I wonder where he's staying in Vegas. I wonder where he's staying. What happened to Sacramento? Um, we went there, learned what we needed to learn, figured out what we thought we would figure out, and uh, are putting something else into play up in that area in the near future. Sorry, Maverick. That's all what happened. Good evening, Dustin Pick. Good evening. Good evening. Good, 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 good evening. What's going on right there? The 91 and the 710. That's a bumper. Nobody cares about a bumper. Oh my goodness gracious. I was a rouser. <laughs> Correct, we do need a big story. Why don't you park at the police station to get up close with the action? Crazy? Um, multiple reasons. Uh, what action am I going to get up close with? By parking at a police station, am I going to get a, a car going in a gate? Um, there's not really much action I'm going to get at a police station. Uh, if I park at a police station and I have to go to a story, that means I have to drive very, very uh, legally, as I should, to the call, considering all the police cars are going to be behind me or in front of me, depending on when I get my start. But uh, sitting at a police station is a terrible idea unless you're parked there for safety or you need them or if you got to pee. But even then, I, I, I've never once peed in a police station. I know some stringers will always go to a police station, but I've never gone into a police station to go pee or poo. You're being held over to drive. I'm Adam Mary William, 462. 
Negative, Salinas. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, Tracy, I see what you're saying, but it's not really, uh, there's no reason to. I'm, I'm hearing where they're going. So, there's no reason to park near them and risk crashing. Uh, it's not stupid. It's just ridiculous. No, I'm just giving you a hard time. News photographer. Um, yeah, but I didn't come up with it. I mean, it's basically common sense, but I was just, that's what I was taught. I was taught, even if you, uh, if your house is near a freeway, it'll take you that time to jump out of the car or jump out of your house into your car to the freeway ramp where somebody's already sitting. Somebody's already sitting on it. Uh, I think so, Jesse. I think so. Uh, news photographer, that's because they get paid either way. Doesn't matter what they get on camera, they made the same amount of money just as you did. What's up, man? How are you? Well, what are you doing? It's 2. 2 a.m. Safety first. Um, I don't know who that guy that walked by my car. We, uh, I don't, I, how would I, I don't know. What clubs do you use? Oh, I have, what do I have? I have TaylorMades. Rocket balls. Well, that's a good fire. It's Farmdale though. That's far. I don't think we're going to make it. Fourteen oh one, yes, they both come back to two thousand three Ford utility. Yeah, you're too far for me. Fourteen, you know, fourteen oh one is your second back up area of the supervisor. You wants to fly a vista on a cold plated vehicle. Now it's a structure fire. It's not a structure fire. It's just a um, vehicle fire underneath. Uh, let me see what's up with Keith. Um, do I carry any tasers, guns, etc.? Why do you plan on uh, trying to rob me? What kind of calls you don't go to because you up now front? They are not interested in. I like the uh, what clubs do you use? I have tailor mates, old school rocket balls. Uh, I believe they are uh, cavity backs, and I do. I I am in the. Uh, not in the market. I'm, uh, it's somewhat time for new clubs. But here's my problem. I'm probably at the top of my game right now. I don't really see myself getting too much better. 
I'm at the point where, for you golfers out there, I either, uh, I either, um, get my set of blades now, or I'll never, uh, never use them. So, <coughs> when you're a, a proper gaffer, blades is what you're using. <laughs> you're looking that way, you don't see a loom up? <laughs> right on, Ryan. Um, but, the, uh, the blade, I'm, I, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on blades, and then all of a sudden, they're not the right clubs for me, because I don't have that swing. But if, if I'm going to get them, now is the time to get them, or I'll never get them. Because I'm almost at the point where I'm about to move into graphites, if you know what I mean. Joshua, I'm probably not the kind of guy to buy used clubs. Nope. Even if I get them re-gripped? No. I'm not a I'm not a a used club kind of guy. Now I might borrow someone's, you know, for a a, a driving range session. But I also have more important things than new golf clubs. The ones I have now work. They're not outdated, outdated, and they're uh, here's our buddy. Vehicle versus pedestrian. Boom! Look at that. Uh oh, that's not good. Trees on fire. Right where you were supposed to go earlier. Howdy, Scotty. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. All right, so this was my day um, yesterday or Monday, right? To me, it's still Tuesday for the most part. <laughs> so I call yesterday Monday. So this was my Monday. You guys uh, saw that I got the pursuit. I saw, showed you the footage. So I got pursued on Channel 5. Then I went golfing. Then I took a nap, which you don't see. Then I took Bronson fishing. All in a day's work. All in a day's work. <laughs> I wish all days were like that. Can't be upset with days like that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. What's up, Randy? Who's Randy? Who was the other cameraman with you on the pursuit, Randy? Was that a station or was that Eric? All I saw was a hand. Thank you, Frazzled. I agree. I agree. Um, Eric, all right, how long did it take me? Well, what's really funny <laughs> is, all right, so I live streamed some of it yesterday with Bronson. And when I do family stuff, I don't keep that thing, I don't keep it on there. So you watch it, you watch it, you miss it, you miss it. So when you, if you happen to be watching it, you'll see me bring in, uh, bring in a line 
still had bait on it. You watch me change that bait out and then I throw it back out or cast it back out, set it down and then proceed to play with Bronson a little bit. After I, after I hit stop, I decided that Bronson and I were gonna move spots. I reeled in the pole, there was a fish on it. So if I would have reeled it in while we were recording, you would have saw me bring that fish in, which means I didn't notice it, but the fish got on the line while we were live. Crazy, right? But anyways, yes, we caught our uh, our first fish. And in, in the thing it said, uh, since we picked up fishing about a month ago, it's more of a, a re-pick up fishing. I started fishing when I was like fourth, fifth grade, kind of let it peter out in uh, a high school, picked it back up in my 20s and 30s, let it peter out again, and now I'm in my 40s and I'm fishing with my family, with my kids, with my boys. So Dade has not wanted to go fishing again since he's gone twice and we struck out twice. He's like, no. And then after catching last night's fish, he's like, yeah, let's go, let's go. So I think we're gonna be going back in the next few days. Uh, Tracy, absolutely not. Nope, I am not gonna eat that fish, especially it being pulled out of that lake. Absolutely not. Um, so much trash, unfortunately, around that place. Um, I, I can't imagine there's a great filter system there. Um, so I'm not eating those fish. I threw it right back. And if anything, what I might do next time is just throw it behind me and let the birds have it or something, or let the coyotes or whatever floats by that area at night have it. Um, or put it in an ice chest with some water, take it home and start throwing them at my local, uh, at my local golf courses so I can sneak over at night and practice my, uh, my fishing. So that might, might be what I start doing is taking them, uh, taking them to the golf courses. Speaking of golf courses, um, Oscar De La Hoya golfed at one of my local courses yesterday. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And then spent $424 in the clubhouse. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, Randy, do you, do you, uh, do you, do you, do you, do you fish? Yeah, Tracy, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna eat that fish. I throw it back. It's all about the sport of. I did with my dad and my teens, so that means yes. <laughs> do you have uh do you have any gear still? If not, don't go out and buy some. But uh, if you do still have some, we should uh, we should go fishing. We should go uh, fishing. I'm looking you on Netflix. I'm from Denmark. Well, hello, Denmark. Hello, Mitvi. Hello, Mitvi. What I did with my dad in the teens, in my teens, was bowling. I did not fish with my dad. I did go fishing well at my dad's because my dad used to live in Canyon Lake and walking distance to the lake. So I would just uh, grab my pole and go catch me a bluegill or a catfish. That was basically what I was catching over there. So when you, bluegill, it was so cool because you would just see the bluegill, you know, swim up to the dock and you just put your line there and whoop, got yourself a bluegill. <laughs> you fished only one time with your neighbor. Gotcha, gotcha. What's up, Vero? Let's find a story. Hello, anyone, anyone? Bueller, Bueller, story, hello, anything? Sometimes there's uh, stories that take place directly in front of us. And I don't mean like in front of us, I mean like at the location where we're at, stories happen. Oh, there we go. Code two, I had to, uh, I put my glove on and you can see it in the picture. Oh, shoot, there's a pursuit. 
location. I'll talk to you later, Code 2. <laughs> <coughs> Where's the pursuit? Oh, listen up. I think it already. I think it's over. You sell manual search. Or not. Twenty-nine-seven repeat. Cross the third. Going east. 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 Please, I Uh, no, I won't be the first one there. Hopefully, Alex will be. location. <laughs> Randy, you still here? Nathan, can you call in there? We lost the people. Oh, never mind. Randy, I was going to say, uh, physically call Alex. <laughs> But they lost the vehicle, so don't worry about it. Because I didn't want to uh, go off live. Because obviously he's not on the board. Alex is our independent, independent stringer. Yeah, they lost it. What's up, Jacob? Wait. I think I got that right, right? I ran into your buddy. Did you happen to see that live? I, d I don't mean did you see it live, but did you see that live stream? Where uh, where I ran into him. Look at you guys. I'm glad you figured it out.
<laughs> because it's slow. <laughs> I'm glad you heard that. That's one of the things I'm going to be bringing up at our meeting. Go. Everybody go. Oh, Aquarius, people been saying that for two decades. And yet, here I am. And here they're not. Uh, Paul, it just means that if it was green, people would just be on the gas. But because it's flashing yellow, they're kind of slowing down and you have to yield to pedestrian traffic. Or once it's solids, then you got to kind of stop. But it just means you're good to go. Just slow down. Because if it was just green, 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 you'd be flying down this street. Right on, Catherine. Oh yeah, Aquarius, you'll definitely put me out of put me out of my position and spot with that kind of attitude. You know, I love how uh, all stringers think they know how stringers think. Alex, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, Scott Lane underscore, you'll see the picture. It's probably a 10 to 12 incher, two pounds, two and a half pounds, maybe. But we did. Uh, what's crazy, though, Alex, is uh, do you remember me pulling out um, the black pole? It had bait on it. I put bait back on it and threw it out there. If I would have pulled that thing in before I went off live, we... Uh, we would have saw me catch it because as soon as I went off live I pulled the poles in and there was a fish on the pole I didn't even know that I caught it I just reeled it in and as, as soon as I reeled it in I was like dude I'm not already stuck on something and then I was like oh that's a fish <laughs> so yeah we got a we accidentally on purpose caught a fish uh alex i like to say bronson gave me that look people donate to me all the time never caught a fish bronson came with me i caught a fish Thank you. 
Wow, that building showed up quick. That building on the right used to just be a a different building, and then they kind of, well, actually it wasn't. It was a, um, it was a parking lot. A lot of parking lots are getting turned into housing these days, but it's a nice house. Nice housing. Jacob, it's uh, it's very possible with uh, some future stuff I have going on. It's very possible. Are you ever going to visit Los Angeles? And I know it's none of my business. And I really don't care, but I'm just curious. Are you in between LA and Patty? Is that why he's? I mean, he's not driving up there to, to uh, meet up and talk with you all the time, right? You're the you're the, you're in between the Patty. Like I said, it's just a thought. Don't care. Very curious. Not very curious, but curious. What's up, Hollywood? Hooray for Hollywood. Now there's a ladder. First it was a bumper, now it's a ladder. Yeah, working on getting time off to come to LA. Also, Pat is in Seattle. If you couldn't tell based off their Instagram, that came up. Wants to just visit and meet, and his time is with the crew. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thirty-seven, one X thirty-seven, eight. 
Congratulations on your new show, Ryan. Good luck with it. What if we were to get the same director so it has the same look, but it'll have to be a different format? What if we do something like that? gotten my stickers <laughs> did that mean you sent me your address <laughs> that's funny i don't know hector oh wait maybe i do are you talking about hector from studio city Jacob and Ryan, Jacob and Ryan. You guys want to uh, watch me pay for some overpriced gas? <laughs> Dude, my... <laughs> my car does not like this area. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know Code 2 has run into them. I know Code 2 has run into them. And they're basically, if they're with the firefighters or they're with the PD, they have access that uh, we don't. They don't have to worry about yellow tape. They don't have to worry about yellow tape at all. We have to worry about yellow tape. Walking off, driving towards my 
See, now I use this. <laughs> uh, Ryan, I sent you a IG message. I know we somewhat know each other, but we don't know each other, but we know each other. Um, and so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say this. Shut up. <laughs> don't mention what I just sent you. <laughs> and then also, um, look, look below one of your comments. Look what Jacob said. Like I said, I got two secrets. one of these already and we have uh, this one awaiting we have this one awaiting Let's go. Well, hello, everybody. How are you? Why does everything want to be inside the... That's weird. Shut up. No one's talking to you. Get up. No one's talking to you. There's certain parts of the city where my... Helping my situation. Okay. 
Gotcha, code two. That makes sense. Why are you going so slow, pal? Who are you? What do you want? I don't know you. Good night, Mike. Uh oh. What? What? Well, Randy, um, I just sent him a text. We put it on the board. It's all we can do, right? It's all we can do. Except for the fact that when I originally started, I was heading to Manchester. And if, uh, if I would have stayed at Manchester, this would be my call. But like when I came out, I saw that he was in Hollywood, so I figured I'd go to Manchester. While I'm one exit away from Manchester, he tells me that's where he is. And then he had an incident there, and I said, forget about it, I'll just move about. But that is one of the reasons why we need to communicate. It's one of the reasons why we need to communicate. Um, my guess is uh, he's looking at Citizen App, checking out Instagram. I need to just do my thing and stop. Uh, so what I do is when my guys are out, I'll work around them. But when I work around them and then you screw up while I'm working around you, I'm just going to push you out of the area and then you work around me. Still no, uh, no answer. It doesn't mean he's not on his way, but it just means that uh, he doesn't communicate well. Now he just sent a question mark. <laughs> uh, Randy, go ahead and give him a call. Just go ahead and call him. You tell him to look at the board. Oh, now he's going to 194th and Main. Yay, never mind. You don't need to call him. <laughs> Hold on, I got to return a text. He, uh... Just sent me a text message with a, um, a question mark and then sent me a text message that said he's going to uh, 194th in Maine. And then I sent him a text message back that said, yay, you should check the board sometimes. <laughs> Hector, it's so key. It's one of the reasons why I left on scene. 
It's uh, one of the main reasons why I left on scene was uh, the lack of communication at the time or the line of communication. And then I uh, went over to RMG. The reason I left RMG was it was just time for me to go on my own. There was no uh, no bad no bad blood at that time when we uh, when we split ways. None at all. As a matter of fact, me leaving RMG helped RMG because at that time, on scene was actually in charge of RMG's billing. RMG wasn't really making a lot of money off me per se, but it showed that they made money in this country for being foreigners. So for a decade, I gave them a business in this country. But when it was time for me to leave, there was no, uh, no bad blood. It was just time for me to go on my own. But when I left on scene, oh, there was bad blood and it had nothing to do with Zach. I think Zach was still in high school when I left on scene or just out of high school. Let's hear the size up. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't think the fog's rolling in. Maybe it is. Doesn't, doesn't look like so much though. Bang sponsoring commercial break. <laughs> Whatever happened to the brothers from RMG? Um, they're still floating around. They are still floating around. Howard is doing well. Austin is doing Austin and Mac is doing Mac. Last I spoke to them, I believe, was Christmas Day. I sent out a group text to the boys that said, I love you, but I hate you. Or I hate you, but I love you. One of the two. <laughs> Mark responded with, hope not to see you at all this year. <laughs> but he meant it in, the nice, in a nice way. I was supposed to hang out with uh, Austin um, the last time uh, I was up in his hood, but I got busy. I got I got real busy. We were supposed to hang out one day, and uh, it didn't work out. I don't even think I've talked to him since to tell him. I mean, obviously he knew we didn't see each other, but I don't think I told him the reason. And the reason was uh, my OCD. <laughs> I got busy working on something else, and uh, never. Oh, here we go. So it's at the Figueroa under the 4 or 5, which means at some point it's probably going to end up here on CHP. What does it say? Does it say anything? Oh, it does say something. Um, what does it say? Uh, just says there's a crash. What's this one? That says one party out of the vehicle on the ground. Doesn't say anything about a fire, though. But it did come out TC with fire, right? No, kind of. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, well, thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. I think I'm going to go again Friday. I think we're going to go Friday night. Just me and Dade. Might drop Bronson off at Grandma's, which leaves Lisa at home all alone. She'd be so happy. She'd be so happy. <laughs> Ozzy communication. <laughs> Where the bloody hell are you? You forgot to add... Uh, Paul, you forgot to say... You cunt. <laughs> In Australia, it's not a bad word. <laughs> Just like the word fag, not a bad word in other places. Unconscious 
All right, man, we need a story. What time is it? 2.52. How long we've been going? We're going one hour. Good morning, Scott. Hey, that's me. I'm Scott. Um, Scott. I literally drove my husband crazy when you go live or he said, hey, Scott hasn't gone live in a few days. And he, was, uh, he drives me crazy with car videos on YouTube. So it's win-win. <laughs> Whoa, Crystal. You tell your husband hello. Hello from Scott. My name is Scott. My name is Scott. I sit here looking for a story. <laughs> Excuse me. That was me. I burped. All right. How long am I going to hang out with you guys? It's um, 148 squad 31. Person unconscious. 4351. I'd like to get out of the car with you. That'd be cool. Castlegate. At the Arco. Sheriff and Ralph. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be cool to get out of the car with you. Oh, that's terrible. That was a terrible burp, dude. <laughs> that was like a six. But thank you. Hello, actor Sean Johnson. Well, good luck with that, Caesar and uh, Susan. Uh, Santa Ana River Lakes. Santa Ana River Lakes. Uh, Brick, no, I have not. No, I have not. One three zero three one, whichever is the mobile of our bill is. Control 2 and 333. Three. 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 Good evening. Yeah, 
Hector, 25. 25. I didn't decide. It was decided for me for the most part, but uh, 25. I just turned 25. Uh, Brick, I have no idea. No idea. Jesse, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. What I do know is that I need to get a story, so I'm going to pay attention. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That is pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Alright, I'm a boring view. At least that's a better view. Yes, it is nice when they call you. Yes, it is. Damn. Information to 444. Slow down. Uh-oh, that's not good. Patience is key. Which is really weird because I'm the most unpatient person in the world, but yet I pick a job and hobbies where you got to have a lot of patience. <laughs> I almost want to say it's therapy. Uh, does anyone else here just follow Scott or do you have any other singers you follow? I only follow Scott as he tells you how to uh, Crystal, I'm guessing there's some uh, other people to follow, but they don't really live stream, so... You're kind of just following him on uh, Instagram or uh, other social medias. I do know Gabriel from On Scene. He live Instagrams. I don't think he YouTubes. But besides that, I know Adam from uh, from us. He live streams on YouTube. Sometimes my guys will go live on Instagram. But for the most part, I'm kind of the only stringer. Well, there's Jacob. <laughs> but he's learning that he's not a stringer. He's more of an IRLer. For the most part, I'm the only stringer besides Adam, who uh, who's continually out doing this. And like I said, Gabriel from On Scene, but that's on uh, that's on Instagram.
Uh, David, if you can't tell what part of L.A. I'm in. Mm, that's about <laughs> You're so confused. <laughs> Why are you confused? Wrong Jacob. Oh, that's why you're confused. <laughs> that's why you're confused. Different Jacob. There's like six Jacobs that I uh, that I that I that I deal with. We got Jacob the stalker. We got Jacob the competition. We got Jacob you. I got a Jacob that works for me. I got a Jacob who does the website. So I got five Jacobs. <laughs> is off nearby property cutting a cardboard box. Pierre can direct the standing by and that is what you're camera. Uh Ryan, sometimes imitation is the best form of flattery. Two almighty, can you give me eleven out of fifty ones into the number please? Four oh one thirty watch five also still working. The bummer about my stalker is he's not even cute. Like I'd be flattered if he was cute. But he's not even cute. For children's hospital, listen to Nancy 123. Oh, yeah, was it the Hollywood Press incident for 196? Oh, yeah, that's probably the best thing Charles TV. You ever walk into a gay bar and not get hit on? Sucks. Gasco, George, Adam, Sam, Charles. Adam, first of Robert, Thomas Spelling. Probably a mouth breather. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. 511, 220, 217, 66, AMA, can I get NCIC? 25, Roger. 37, can I prepare stuff on me? 97, 98, no news. Copy that. 37, Roger, Southeast, number 10. 35, 70, Wilson, go away. Come on, stories. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm patiently awaiting. <laughs> See, that one was a little better. And we'll call that a seven. And that's not even, uh, that's not forced. Like when I force them out, that's when you get like the nines and tens. But when you, uh, you just let it out, eh. Come on! Come on! Hook a brother up, dude. I am letting the bang out. Bang, bang. Ay, 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 bang, bang. You can give me Buddha quotes all you want, Mike, but that doesn't change the way I feel. It doesn't change the way I feel. That's stupid. That's stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Anybody, uh... Any voice in an aircraft carrier around here? 2845, 2845, there's a penny call for that location. Correct, Daddy-O, correct. United, first down, 7447, Boulder Boulevard. Looking for something interesting. Rescue 66, person 6200. 
We're not looking for a person down. We're not looking for a sick person. We're looking for a story. Pull open route, Hollywood Station with one. Wow, 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 wow. Six, six, eight, diabetic, zone two, four, six. Uh, David, I don't know. Next time you roll up to one, ask him. And I'm guessing you can. I know that, Mike. I'm just a smart ass. Which is way better than being a dumbass. And when someone calls you a smart ass, and when you tell them that you'd rather be a smart ass than a dumbass, they don't like that. LSD takes the radio, the radio's out. What does that mean? I do know that at 3 a.m. It's going to start beeping, so once we start hearing beeps, I'll get rid of that. You must be drinking your energy drink. I am. Oh, well, thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Yeah, Crystal, that's kind of my problem. The good news is you, uh, if I, if I say I'm going to do something, there's a good chance I'm going to do it. And with being like that, sometimes honesty comes into play and sometimes I'm a little too brutally honest, but when you tell people like it is, they do appreciate it. Whether you were genuine or not, they do appreciate the honesty. So even though I'm a big joker, I'm a smart ass and I make jokes about everything, it's a pretty good chance you can trust me if I tell you something. David, I can bump music all I want. The problem with bumping music is, one, on my live stream, well, one, I'm not a cop, so I didn't know if you were asking me that question or asking in general. Two, if I was to bump music during the live stream, I would get demonetized for copyright stuff. Three, if I'm listening to the radio, I'm not listening to the scanners. There's no song that can't wait. You know what I mean? But there's definitely stories that you got that 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 can't wait <laughs> did i say that right there's definitely music that can wait that's what i meant to say yeah all music can wait there's no song where you got to stop everything to listen to it so listening to music will actually screw up my night like i said there's no song that you gotta listen to right away i don't care how fiery or lit the song is Billy Eilish can wait. Come on. Come on. Come on, people think. <laughs> Cause you know what? Central Custody additional unit, the thing is Uh George, nope. I'm on um 
penny forty one. Show me. I'm on Victor lemon right Seven now. Dollar, Robert Norris, six zero seven. We're gonna be on the Victory East of Hazel Pain. Update location: Victory and Costello. Thirty nine and twenty one LT thirty. Yeah, Mike, uh, Pomona's, uh, Pomona be busy right now. Pomona be a busy. All right. Entry through the metal bars. The alarm is not sounding and he's walking away. So my version of photo is going to work at the bus is at Wilshire and Crenshaw at 316, Wilshire and Vermont at 324, and Wilshire and Alvarado at 328. Southern incidents 458 and RD 732. Wilshire and Alvarado at 322. Wilshire and Alvarado uh, Larry, sometimes. Sometimes. Mike, I think so. I think we covered it. But someone got their butt beat. And why is that? Uh, why is that, Randy? And is that the crash he's talking about? I don't think it happened at four in the morning, did it? I could be wrong. It could be a different one. Is it is he talking about a different one? Yes, a different one, or yes, it's the same one. Either way. Either way, why did you get beat? Do we know? I don't think it had anything to do with packaging. Did it have to do with angles or feeding first? 3 a.m. Gotcha. And that's and, and there it is right there, being honest. I'm being honest with one of my guys right now. He got beat. He got beat yesterday. And... Uh, <clears throat> the only thing I can think of uh, was angles. Like at that point, I don't even think he stayed and got um, extrication. He just got crash scene, right? And on a story like that, and on the time, that's what did it. Because it happened at three. You get that thing three out of three thirty. Breaking news at four. Where my dude, uh, hi dad, good morning. Where my dude um, waited for extrication, which is kind of what you're supposed to do. But at the same time, you got to look at the time. You got to look at the things. And, and my guy did everything right, except. His uh, his competition had experience over him, and experience won when it when it came to uh, yesterday and that story. That's my opinion, at least. Randy is uh, competition won, or experience won in that case. And he was on the other side, wasn't? Weren't you like in front and only stuck in one spot? It looked like looked like he was behind it, but I don't remember seeing extrication or anything like that. And I do remember his footage was brighter, but that, you know, you never know what happens. But uh, yeah, Randy got beat, but. The thing about it is, like right now, or are you talking about last night? Or are you talking about last night? Um, the thing about it is, you know, I always say have amnesia, but you can talk about and, and remember why or figure out why you lost and then, you know, put that in your files and then just move on. Don't stop and reflect about last night and I lost and I can't come out and I'm going to get beat. No, just do your job, man. Do your job. Do your job. Hi, Dad. How are you? What's going on in Texas? What's going on in Texas? I'll tell you what's going on in California. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Jesse, what you talking about? Which fire? Shut up. Not you, Jesse. Two 
take that out of Gotcha, Jesse, gotcha. What time did I come on? Uh, Dad, about an hour and a half ago. So whatever that puts us at, what, like 145? Donut shop sitting on the bench at the corner. Mom had eye surgery yesterday. Ah. Or I see, says the blind woman. Can she see? Is she okay? The cardboard box. Yay, it's always good when you can see after eye surgery. It's always good. I want to want a standing by for primary. Winchell's Donuts. Winchell's Donuts. Sounds good. Hey, Dad, you want to see something cool? Wait, maybe I sent it to you. Did I send you the picture? Uh, Dad, did I send you the picture with um my day yesterday or Monday, whatever it is? The one with uh, all three things in it? The all in a day's work picture? I did send you the all in a day's work picture? All right. I know I sent you the picture of Bronson and the fish, but did I send you the picture of all in a day's work? No, I didn't. All right. So this was my day yesterday, Dad. Or Monday, I guess. So I got Channel 5 on the pursuit. I went golfing. And then that. So that's basically was all in a day's work. That was my day. Pretty cool, huh? I don't like that at all. Right. Three seventy-five, two eight seventy-five. The alarm company called back and said the PRs in row with a thirty-minute ETA in a black infinity. <laughs> Good day at the offices. Plural. All those places are my office. <laughs> You've been sitting there for a while. Who are you?
Thank you, Dodie. I agree. He is pretty cool. It's pretty special. I'm a lucky dad. I didn't show anybody the uh, the Valentine's Day pictures. My dad saw them, but uh, you guys haven't seen them. Bronson got all dressed up for his Valentine's Day date. He had a little uh, suit on without the jacket, but he had a, a vest, a tie, a button-up shirt, some slacks, and of course some bands. And uh, he had some... Uh, he had some flowers and balloons for uh, for his grandma, and they had a little Valentine's dinner with some other people while we went and failed at fishing. <laughs> Three code for the 
Driveway is I don't know, J. Cole. Are you the white car that's following me? <laughs> Hector, do you recognize that car wash? Let me see if I can find something here. Oops. Or is it over here? Where is it? Let's see. No, are you here? Dust. Nope. Download? Shut up. No one wants to hear you, dude. No one wants to hear you. Is it? Where are you? I guess you're still in there, huh? Shut up. No one wants to hear it. Let me see if I can find it in here. Are you in here? Menu? Playback function? Event view? Boop. Nope. Yeah, so you know, it's weird, because it's, it's... Engine 53, squad 106. It's saved somewhere, but not there, which is really weird. From 4131, Drive South, at Resort Hotel. Let me check on something. And where's that cable at? Been missing some things. Alright, so let's go over here. Did I finally delete it? Oh, nope. There's that. So weird. So weird. So that's there. So where's the other one? I guess I don't have it. I thought I did. I'll have to uh, look for it. Let me see. Hi, guys. I'm looking for a specific piece of video. Where did I put it? I must have put it. It hurt my arm. I must have put it in a different folder.
I don't see it. Oh well. I know where I put it. I don't know. It's weird. Whatever. You are definitely not it. What are you? Why are you there? What are you? I don't know what you Oh, I know what you are. Uh, that's funny. Well. That's weird. It's really weird. I have some behind the scenes footage. I just don't know where it went. I just don't know where it went. What a bummer. Over it. We're done. I tried. I have some uh, behind the scenes footage that takes place right here. But I don't know where it is, and now I need to focus on 
stories, right? Right. Did you want a three spot forty overdose? Go sheriff. Six six three one past the boulevard. Karen Drive in the lobby. Anybody ever told you to shut up? Shut up. Tito, there's no such thing as getting caught. They either air it and we invoice, or they don't air it and we don't invoice. But there's no getting caught. It doesn't work like that. Check on our favorite fire hydrant. Make sure it's doing okay. Thank you. 
She looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. To what, Dad? To work? No. Step all over my stuff. No dogs allowed. Oh, fire hydrant. <laughs> Dad, I'm going to say uh, no. No, we are not. Verizon. Like a normal person. <laughs> Tito, you're pretty funny. Sitting there staring at buildings. <laughs> you call that? You call that good stuff? <laughs> Thank you, though. Tito and I've always, uh, I've always liked flying under the radar. Thirty years of age. 
breathing the conscious, suffering from pain to the both legs from a PC. I'm just as big as I need to be. Right on, Dad. I'll we'll see you then. I will see you then. And maybe uh, I'll have to pick you up and go on a live stream with me. I think the audience will appreciate that. And uh, I'll do my best not to get you arrested or crash you. Johnny, it's closed. I don't think I could get in there if I tried. They lock those doors and they don't let people in just because people ask. You can also go fishing, Dad. We can go fishing, we can go stringing, we can go streaming, we can go eating. <laughs> Tito, yes and no. Um, I was researched for the role. I did speak to the director. The director did see all 12 episodes of Stringers LA. And uh, the director did see some of my video blogs back in the day. But um, yes, I was uh, researched. I was researched for the role. It's loosely based on no one, no matter what anyone tells you, no matter what uh, Austin says on his Instagram or his Facebook, no matter what Polly Laponte says or Laponte, 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 Polly in uh, Chicago says. Um, but I was researched for the role. It's loosely based off of no one, but uh, I was researched for the role. Johnny, I like that. I like that. I think my wife would like that better, though. And we live here. But yeah. Uh, it is a good movie, Tito. What's crazy about the movie is... Usually the bad guys don't win. Like, Hollywood doesn't like to show the bad guy win. In that particular movie, the bad guy won. And the movie ended exactly what was going on in my life at that time. The movie ended with him putting a team together, and in 2014, I was putting a team together. So it's not loosely based off of me, but when that very, very first trailer came out and uh, Lou Bloom was talking to his photographer, the words he said and the way he said it, everybody sent me that and said, look, Jake Gyllenhaal's playing you. Um, Cause he had a way with words. And sometimes, uh, as you guys know, I have a way with words and Joan Hall in that movie had a way with words. So I'm not going to claim it's based on me because I was told that I was researched for the role. So however you want to put those words in, but uh, I do like the movie. I saw that movie three times in three days with three different people. But it's a good movie. I liked it. Hmm. 
All right, so to do so we're like next door, robbery and custody on company stage on Tunnel Edge, traffic hazard 405, 1105, traffic to do, go there. What do we got over here? Go here, go here. Yeah, we already heard that. It's not a big deal though. Pursuit, so we haven't we haven't done anything. That's not good at all. Um, oh, what happened here? Do do do. X-ray standing in front of the vehicle trans roll in the lower 85 blind. Do 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 unseen. All right, don't have to worry about that. Here. Your ex thought it was dumb. That's probably because it was too real for her. A lot of people when they watch movies, they want to be, um, they want a fantasy. There was no fantasy about that movie. Well, except for uh, the Hollywood embellishments and uh, negotiating your prices. That was fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, there was no love story. Jake Gyllenhaal wasn't uh, trying to win the heart of somebody over, so... She probably heard Jake Gyllenhaal and got all excited and then uh, got very unexcited real quick. <laughs> There was a love story, but it uh, it wasn't the main part of the story. Tito or uh, his love for the streets or actually the love for the dollar that was uh, that was Lou Bloom's main focus was uh, the love of the dollar he would do anything for that dollar that is not why I showed up here I showed up here for my love of television Twenty-seven people just caught under. Yeah, show us code four on our code uh, four point nine seven. Do you want me to get a funeral? I was on your table two. The computer only handles how many. Email blast just <laughs> Tito, almost 20 years. April 4th, 2020 will be my 20 year anniversary of the day I started and the day I got my first hits on TV. April 4th, 2000. And uh, we're coming up on my 20 year anniversary. And as some of you, most of you know, I got a couple big announcements that day. Anybody in the downtown area? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Uh, no, I'm gonna have a party uh, a few days before that. Anybody in the downtown area? Studio City? Hmm. 10 minute drive. Scott's retirement party swing by. <laughs> I'm not going by Studio City. You can come by here. I won't be here when you get here, but you can come by here. I can leave you some things. What's my Instagram? Scott Lane underscore. What's funny is Scott Lane. <laughs> yeah, he sent. He's 
he has sent me some messages in the past, uh, just regular Scott Lane on Instagram. He, uh, he's like, hey man, I'm getting messages for you. <laughs> and then when the, sh and that was before the show came out. And when the show came out, I was like, hey, sorry. <laughs> Cause he got a lot of messages. Am I gonna announce them on my stream? Absolutely, Larry, absolutely. April 4th, I have two big announcements. A lot of you will already know both announcements ahead of time though. That's the way things work. But uh, it's still a solid, what, six weeks away? Johnny, I have zero interest in that, and the reasoning is I would have to drive home afterwards. And uh, I'm lucky enough to, uh, to revolve my life around traffic. Some of you, most of you, are not lucky enough to do that. I revolve my days around traffic. So I can get there now, but coming home, ugh. Uh uh. I want nothing to do with that. I love sitting at home watching TV and looking at the traffic map and seeing it red everywhere. Whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the afternoon. I love seeing the red and laughing at all you guys stuck. <laughs> Most of you are in bed right now. Uh, Master, it's a big world. It's a real big world. Um, and if you think about it, most of you aren't in bed right now. Because, well, it's 4 o'clock in the morning here now in uh, L.A., which means it's 1 o'clock in Hawaii. So Hawaii and L.A., Hawaii is sleeping. L.A. is just waking up and the rest of the world's already awake or going to sleep. So... Master, when you say most of us, you just mean you and your, your your little world. You don't mean most of us in the world, because most people in the world right now are awake. See? She's at work. East Coast started their day. My dad's probably, what, two coffees in? <laughs> My dad started his day like two hours ago. So... You're in bed. All right, cool. Time to start taking care of some things. Thank you. 
Nothing to report to the news, just investigating a back house and debate. <laughs> Presidential. Quiet night. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is somewhat of a quiet night. And uh, I told you guys I was going to hang out with you until 4 o'clock. It is now 4 o'clock. Um, I am a little bummed I didn't get you anything. We didn't even get out of the car. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. Stabbing at Bar at Northridge. Uh, well, considering bars closed two hours ago, and I'm not anywhere near the valley, and if I was going to go to the valley, I would make my way to Universal Studios. But, um, I do like that invite. I do like that invite. Johnny, email me, scott at loudlabs.com. I would love to, uh, to be your guest. And bring a guest. Breaking news. Right on, Johnny. Right on. Right on. I used to know uh, the dispatcher for the security that uh, that ran that up there. Not the sheriffs. Not the sheriffs. I know sheriffs are in charge of that area, but I'm talking about the, the actual security. I used to know the dispatcher. He uh, used to work for us as a dispatcher. And then he moved on to there, and then he moved on to Burbank Airport Dispatch. Dispatch is the popo. -po. Yo, yo. So we'll go see that guy tonight. Got a real busy next couple of months. And then after that, a real busy rest of my life. <laughs> oh man. Things are happening, people. Things are happening. Police department. Then RD438. Or not, but it's all going to be 409 497 Um, when does... When does that come out? When do you come out? When do you? What is your release date? What's your release date? Zero nine zero. Turns no want no warrant. 
2006. June 26th. Mini when did my dad say he was going to be here? Nora, Nora. Dad. Dad. I just, I just saw that. We're going to be going to the movies. We're going to be going to the movies. With Bronson, I'll always be busy. He retire at 50. <laughs> I'll be with him tomorrow. If you're live, I'll make him watch. <laughs> right on. Um, but Dad. So, um, we're going to the movies. We're going to the movies. And there's a good chance uh, Dave might want to go. Um, I don't think the kids are going to want to go. I don't think Yo or Mom will want to go. I'm going to make Lisa go. I don't know if you have any interest, but I think you do. I think you do. But we're going to the movies. We're going to the movies. I told everybody the next time I go to the movies what it is I'll be seeing, and it looks like I am making my dad go with me. <laughs> So it looks like it's PG thirteen, so um my mom will let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she'll allow him to go. We're gonna go see Top Gun 2. We're gonna go see Maverick. So between now and uh, then, you should watch Top Gun. Now, for someone like me, I don't need to rewatch Top Gun. I've watched it a thousand times, and I can almost tell you every line, like I can in Star Wars. So, for someone like my dad, I don't know the last time he saw it, but, um, yeah, we're going to go see Maverick. And it's PG-13, so Mom will let you go. You guys got to understand, I was born in the 70s, raised in the 80s, and I grew up in the 90s. And when you were raised in the 80s, Maverick and Goose. All about Maverick and Goose. It's just a basic traffic collision over there. Um, Mom said funny. <laughs> it's just a basic traffic collision, uh, Mike. Like back in the day, I'm going to get you in trouble, Dad. Um, tell Mom to plug her ears. Back in the 80s, my dad took me to go see Rambo. I don't think I was even in double digits yet, was I? Uh, maybe. Maybe I was like 10 or 11. But uh, uh, my dad took me to go see Rambo. And I think Rambo 3. <laughs> Those were definitely rated R. <laughs> I think he told her we were going to go see the Muppet movie or something. But we went to go see Rambo.
Hey, Dad, there's a statute of limitations. You can't be in trouble for something you did 30 years ago. Okay, I take that back. Bill Cosby. <laughs> I take that back, Dad. You can get in trouble for something you did 30 years ago. <laughs> no, there's no story, but we are somewhat near a foot pursuit, so I figured we'd go check it out. See if we can get this guy running. It's not going to be news unless uh, things happen during the uh, the, fir the foot chase. But because we're so close, I figured I would go look at it and then say goodbye to you guys. And try to change the subject so my dad doesn't get in any more trouble. The Muppet movie was great, Mom. It was amazing. I'm so glad Dad took me to go see the Muppets in the 80s. It was awesome. 2035 location. Yeah, your location. One eight thirty five or any with or any unit with one eight thirty five location. Are you close six? Hi. This isn't a story, but at least I get out of the car. You guys can see a little bit of action. I was hoping, I was hoping we would get officers running and get foot chase and foot pursuit and all that, but it's not gonna be a story. Now they might be calling for an RA, so. We'll see. Yeah, so they're calling an RA, which is an ambulance for use of force meaning uh, they hurt them as they were taking them into custody. But they didn't hurt him because they wanted to hurt him. They hurt him because he was probably fighting back. Morning.
So I just witnessed an officer litter. Should I, uh, should I go tell him it's a thousand dollar fine? So all the officers are wiping their hands right now because they touched the suspect, so they're all using the disinfectant wipes. But instead of throwing it in the trash, he threw it right there. That's a thousand dollar fine. Now he has another one in his hand. Let's see if he drops that. It's in his left hand right there. The officer that rolled up his sleeve so we can see his tattoos. Let's see if he throws that one on the ground. Would that mean it's a $2,000 fine? Because he's already at 1000 right there. So if he, throw, if he throws it again, is that a $2,000 fine? <laughs> Now it's in his right hand. Let's see what he does with it. It's in his right hand. Let's see what he does with it. It's not a story. I'm just being funny. Even his uh, pant leg is dishuffled. So he was the one who was in foot, in foot pursuit and uh, was fighting with the suspect. I already told you what an RA is. An RA is an ambulance. All right, so are we gonna solve the case? <laughs> uh, some of them are security, but the ones in black, they're not security. <laughs> they're world security. I don't know where it went. Forty-six. We don't have anything going on here except uh, we're just watching police litter. So we have the the case of the littering officer. So far, he has a thousand dollar fine, and we're waiting to see if he gets a, a second thousand dollar fine. <laughs> here, uh, 
There's his first thousand dollar find. And the second thousand dollar find's in his hand. <laughs> No, I don't need to tell him. <laughs> I bet you if I walk around the back of that car, we'll see it on the ground. Still holding it. Still holding it. We already solved the case, now we're just collecting evidence. No, Don. It was uh, it's just a use of force call. That guy was running from the police. The police tackled him, and now he's going to the hospital because he got tackled. How's the weather? Well, it looks like everyone's wearing long sleeves. And it looks dry. The yellow lights are uh, local downtown security. I used to have an office around here, and when I lived around here, they called them the purple people. So, depending on what district you are, is what color the security is. So, uh oh, I gotta sneeze. Thank you, thank you. I am, thank you. So, depending on what uh, where you're at, depends on what color your security is. And uh, the security can't arrest you. They can fight you. <laughs> I've seen I've seen them fight people, but um, they they can detain you. But the police will come arrest you. I used to live uh, off Flower and 7th, and the purple guys were all the way around there. Then I had an office at uh, near Pershing Square, and the purple guys are around there too. So there's purple and green in this area. Whoa, whoa, wait, hey now. Settle down. Uh, I am in downtown Los Angeles, California, on a very, Famous Street, Broadway. So uh, we'll watch this guy get put in the ambulance and then I'm gonna say goodbye to y'all. I don't even have my camera on. I'm just using my camera to mount the uh, to mount my phone. He just waved bye to the officers. That was pretty funny. He's saying thank you and he's apologizing. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's not going to jail. You don't go to jail in an ambulance. All right, guys. Uh, so somebody was just asking if I was happy. Eh, I'm not um, mad, but I'm not gonna say I'm happy. Um, all right, so thank you to everyone who, thank you to everybody who, uh, who donated. Thank you to, I don't think anyone donated tonight. Why am I thanking you? Thank you for the continued support, I will say that. Uh, Dad, love you, the rest of you, I don't. And uh, remember, tomorrow is promised to no one. Hug your loved ones. Later, losers.